Okay, so this is the biggest video we do for 2022. And biggest video deserves some nice clothes. And in 2022, we unboxed, reviewed, tested some 80 plus smartphones and made the best videos we can. And you guys helped us reach 1 million subscribers this year. We started off 2022 at 5,92,000 subscribers. But this is the video where we talk about the best and at the end, the worst smartphone launches of 2022, which you should stay away from even in 2023. And for the best smartphone of 2022, we have this TechWiser Trophy, but let's not reveal this. With that out, let's start off with the best value for money smartphone. Now, 2022 has been a costly year. We saw every smartphone company hike the prices due to chip shortage, COVID issues, and profit. Let's be honest. So the value for money smartphone price has now gone a bit higher to around 25,000. So the second price for the best value for phone is IQ Neo 6. It was the overall smartphone package you could buy around 26, 27,000. You get really good performance with Snapdragon 870, good camera, good battery life. IQ Neo 6 comes second for the best value for money smartphone in 2022. But the company which absolutely killed in 2022 is Motorola. And the launch was Moto H30. Compared to the previous generation, it had stereo speakers, OIS and camera, in-display fingerprint scanner, which made it a really good upgrade. So Moto H30 deserves to be the best value for money smartphone in 2022. Another really good competitor is Poco F4, but with ongoing update issues and smartphone dead problems, it's only fair to wait and see how Poco F4 goes in a year or two. But again, definitely definitely a good release. And you could also consider phones like IQ7, S20 FE 5G, but we are only talking about smartphones that launched in 2022. With the most value for money, let's go to the best phone in budget. Second place would be Moto G52. While everyone was releasing 5G phones with LCD display, Motorola was one of the few phone makers that launched Moto G52 with P-OLED display that had very thin bezels. A 4G phone, but overall a very good smartphone under 15,000. But the first prize goes to, well, we started the year with Realme 9 Pro Plus, the whole flagship camera on budget. And after a long time, a smartphone was released with OIS under 25,000. And even after the price drop, the Realme 9 Pro Plus sold for under 20,000. And suddenly, it was the best camera phone at that price. Realme 9 Pro Plus at the price of 20,000 is the undisputed best phone in budget. Next up, the most confused segment was flagship killer. So you might argue, what is flagship killer price? 30,000, 40,000, 50,000? Well, we also thought a lot about it. And the best way to put it is a smartphone which has flagship performance, flagship camera specs, but doesn't cost as much as a flagship is a flagship killer. So there are a couple of phones like S21 FE, Motorola H30 Pro, but we stuck with the best in our testing, iQOO 90. You get latest flagship Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, 120 watt fast charging, 50 megapixel camera, all flagship specs, but at a slightly lower price, 49,990. So iQOO 90 deserves to be the flagship killer of 2022. Now this segment is a bit new. Best phone not released in India. And for this, we really thought hard. We tried the Vivo's foldable from China, Xiaomi's one inch DSLR-like camera phone, but one phone that really stood out was Asus Zenfone 9. It was a compact flagship phone with a headphone jack, gimbal camera on the back, stock Android, and charger in the box. Top rated comment on our video says it all. It's like Asus called Android enthusiast and made the phone they always wanted. If it had launched in India, the price would have been around 55,000. So Asus Zenfone 9 is definitely the best phone that didn't launch in India. And this year, 2022, we also saw a lot of sales. Amazon Prime Day sales, Flipkart Big Billion Day sales, and the second best among those deals was S21 FE. The phone launched for 5499, but sold as low as 3499 in discount. But it was not as good as number one phone on discount, iPhone 13. Every Flipkart Big Billion Day, people wait for last year's iPhone to go on discount. iPhone 13 launched in India for 79,990, but one year later at Big Billion Day, sold for just under 50,000. Almost 35% discounts, which make iPhone 13 the best phone available at discount. Now, before we move to the worst smartphone category, this is for best looking phone of 2022. And apart from iPhone square edges, we had competition for the best looks. We had Vivo V25 Pro with the color changing back, smooth curved design. Then we had the Pixel 7 with the Robocop look and a dynamic island on the back. But in my opinion, the best looking smartphone for 2022 is the Nothing Phone 1. With all the hype and all, we can't deny Nothing made the best looking smartphone of 2022. Like the Glyph interface and all, this is fine. But have a look at the internal component, the transparent design. Nothing Phone 1 easily is the best looking smartphone for 2022. Now, before we move on to the best smartphone of 2022, let's see some of the worst smartphone to launch in 2022. Some of them launched in wrong year. Starting off with OnePlus 10R. We all accepted that 
oxygen os is equal to color os but then came oneplus 10r probably the first oneplus phone with no alert slider except nord phones 8 megapixel ultra wide plus 2 megapixel macro camera like it had the same camera as the nord 2 and all of that at the price of 3899 and if all of it was still fine it was an exact copy of realme gt neo 3 which was selling 2000 cheaper than oneplus 10r now of course realme phones have bloatware and ads but now both the phones have the same os and same features as ColorOS. OS. OnePlus in 2022 became a third child which sometimes copied elder brother Oppo or younger brother Realme. Hope 2023 is different. And the next worst phone to go in 2022 was iPhone SE 2022. It launched with a powerful A15 Bionic, Apple's flagship chip for 2021. But the body was iPhone 8 with those big bezels. It had a fingerprint scanner, 720p LCD display, single 12 megapixel main camera and a 7 megapixel selfie camera. And if all of this was fine. It had 2018 mAh battery. Now, iOS optimizations are good, but this is like giving a Ferrari inside Maruti Alto's body. And if all of this was fine, it launched for 43,900. Let's just end at that. Now, the next worst phone you might not even know or even heard of if you watch TechWiser, Nokia, our all favorite company, launched Nokia G60. It had clean stock Android with Android One, 60 Hz LCD display, Snapdragon 695, all at a premium price of 29999. Motorola sells the exact same spec smartphone, in fact, with 120Hz display at 15999. Nokia G60 was just plain bad. Now, finally, the best smartphone of 2022. Now, we had competition this year. iPhone 14 Pro removed the notch this year and they called it Dynamic Island. Even the camera this year was upgraded to 48 megapixel. But the overall experience was good. The same. Best iPhone ever. Even Google launched the Pixel 7 Pro, a Google flagship, after four years in India. That, in my opinion, was still good. All these iPhone 14 Pro and Pixel 7 Pro was close second. So finally, the award for best smartphone 2022. Samsung best flagship S22 Ultra is the best smartphone of 2022. It scared me a bit. S22 Ultra launched at the start of February 2022 and throughout the year, holded the place for the middle ground between a Pixel and an iPhone. If you wanted really good photos and good videos, you didn't have to choose between the Pixel and iPhone. You could just get an S22 Ultra with a very good display, S Pen support, and just to add, you got four years of Android updates and five years of security update, more than Android's maker, Google itself. So that was the video, and I guess this was the best year for TechWiser, and thanks to you guys and each one of you who subscribed, liked, shared any one of our videos, and as cliche as this might sound, we wouldn't be here without you. On that note, this is Pratik signing off. See you in the next video and pew pew. Probably for the last time of 2022.